what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another amazing video and today's video is super exciting because we are taking the camaro to the dyno to get dialed in with the new heads and cam and as you guys can see i did rent a trailer because we're actually going to be going all the way to victoria texas it's about two and a half hours away from houston and actually visiting pat g in person to really get this thing dialed in on the dyno For you guys that are new to the channel, this is my 2019 Camaro SS. I just picked it up from the shop getting the cam and heads installed. So it's basically a full bolt-on cam and head setup. We've got the U-Haul to pull the car down to Victoria. And we've also got this 2003 Mach 1 Mustang. And guys, if you want to be one of the lucky guys to possibly win this Mustang, that's right, I am giving this Mustang away. Make sure you go down and click on my Patreon link below. It is $5 a month, uh, and every month, depending on how many Patreons I have, I do give away really good prizes, gift cards, car parts, whatever. Um, the more Patreons we have, the more and bigger prizes I can give away. And when we get to 1,000 Patreons, we will be giving this Mustang away. So 1,000 Patreons is the goal, guys. If we can get to 1,000 Patreons, when we do that, this car will be given to one of you lucky 1,000 channel supporters and Patreons. So make sure, go to the link in the description below to get a chance to win you a Mach 1 Mustang, along with many other prizes along the way. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the video. And let me give you guys a cold startup of the 2019 heads and cam with a bass tune so i've never heard it cold started up so we're gonna be first here it is pretty loud it's idling a little higher because it's cold and then once it settles down you should start being able to hear the chop in the cam. There you go. <laughs> Can't wait to get it dynoed in so I can really get on it. It is super loud. Anyway, guys, I'm going to back the trailer up. We're going to load the car up. And then we're going to be on the way to Victoria, Texas. All right. We got the Camaro in the back, and we're off. Um, so, like I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video, uh, Victoria's about two and a half hours away from Houston, so we have a nice little drive. One thing that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about on our way over there before we get to the dyno is, um, what I kind of are my expectations for this car. So, it put down 477 in seventh gear, uh, going up to 6,500 RPMs in the dyno jet here at Excessive Racing in Engines. Um, we're going to be on a Mustang dyno, so keep that in mind, guys. Uh, the Mustang dynos generally tend to read lower, so we're going to be, we can't expect, you know, the full, I, at, at least I'm not expecting the full 100 and plus horsepower gains from the heads and cam on the dyno, especially on the Mustang dyno. Um, so, with that being said, um, what kind of gains I expected from the ported heads and the cam. So the heads themselves should be about 30 horsepower, 25 to 30 horsepower. Um, that's with on top of the cam setup. Um, and then cams have been shown to gain 60, 70 horsepower. Um, so yes, I'm thinking, you know, the car should make about an extra 100 horsepower more. Um, but because we're going to be on a Mustang dyno and I don't believe we're going to be dynoing it in seventh gear uh, just because we're now going to be revving the car out a little bit higher to about 6800 RPM uh, versus 6500 and the car was already getting very very close to the 200 mile an hour uh, rolling speed on the dyno in seventh gear so any more RPM is just going to be more more speed so um, I don't think we'll be able to do it in seventh gear so we'll probably do it in sixth gear or maybe Fifth, fifth or sixth gear which is going to reduce the, the actual power output numbers that you see on the dyno so 
I'm thinking that'll reduce it maybe about 20 horsepower, give or take, uh, going in six versus seven. And then we're gonna get another probably 20 horsepower on top of that uh, from the Mustang Dyno versus the Dyno Jet. So idealistically, I think what we're gonna be, put your guesses down in the comments below what you think the car is gonna put down. But I'm thinking the car is gonna put down 500 and like 30 horsepower, which would be a gain of about 60 um, from the previous dyno run, um, which I think could be on par because we're going to be in a Mustang dyno and it's going to be in six gears. So put your comments down below and let me know what you guys think. What do you think the car is going to dyno? Um, I'm excited to find out. I am looking forward to it. But anyways, guys. Uh, Comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in Victoria. Well, guys, uh, not at Pat's right now, but <sighs> we're about maybe half an hour away from Pat G's, and we have a blowout. So we rented this from U Haul, which means what you only thing you can do is call roadside assistance, and I don't know how long they're gonna take. So I'm very tempted to leave the truck here at Lowe's. Um, obviously locked up with the trailer and everything. And then unload the car, drive to Pat G's, get what I need to get done. And then, you know, come back here when it's all said and done and wait for roadside assistance or have roadside assistance come change it out, do what they gotta do while I'm over there and then come back here, load the car up, take the truck home so I'll keep you guys in touch and see what we end up doing all right guys so we're in the Camaro and U-Haul tow side assistance like I mentioned had somebody coming on the way and they just gave me a call back said I don't need to be on site they just need to be have be able to have access to be able to change the tire so that is what I'm gonna do so we are off to Pat G's we'll drive the last little bit of the way in the Camaro and hope everything goes well and then we'll just jump right back come back load the car up here where we got the flat and drive back to Houston well guys we made it to LSX performance dyno tuning Pat G's got the car on the car on the dyno and barely made it just about a minute late but we got here and now it's time for the magic to happen all right guys so we got it all strapped down and um, probably try to get a little bit of data logging uh, but you know Pat knows what he's doing takes his time and he'll make sure this thing is running right all right guys so just got over talking with Pat and pretty much what we're gonna do on the first run here is get this car running on speed density uh, these newer generation cars pretty much need to be dialed in both speed density and math you can't just do one or the other and so we've got this on a speed density and what they're gonna do and it's pretty cool with the mustang dyno is that you can actually load this car up load the dyno up to where the car sees a really heavy load so that it can go back and forth uh, between the different loadings that a speed density tune would require so pat's gonna log it and get it dialed in just right under speed density so we can later get it set up for the map and really get the tune dialed in just right see these are all the little things that you have to ask your tuner because most tuners might just do a map tune and just put just a feed table slightly for the ST tune but had you really goes above and beyond to make sure that everything is on point and down right where it needs to be so that is why I like working with Padgy and he doesn't take any shortcuts and makes sure the car is dialed in just right.
right guys so they just finished up doing the corrections to the VE table right now Patch is gonna go through do a double check make sure that everything is where it needs to be and then we can start looking at the math and checking that stuff which is, should be pretty close and once we get all that then we can finally pick go to the numbers and start working with the spark and fuel to see just how much the spark can be. All right, so we're gonna probably do the pull in fifth gear. So right now, those are just small, short pulls that they're doing, guys. Uh, they're going up to maybe 3,000, 4,000, little by little, just making sure that everything's right so that the car can get a final pull all the way through without any issues. All right, guys, now we're going into the pulls. So it's gonna be a lot louder now. to 6800 rpm all right guys so we had this pool but one interesting thing is that we did find in when we did the lap battle log that the throttle body was closing so that's something that we're those pat's going to look into why it would be closing when we we're wide open throttle but should be fixable so just talked to pat about the throttle closing and why it could be doing that and one thing we've come up to the conclusion is that the car is moving so much more air now that it actually is accessing some areas where you know you, we never really got to when we had the car with the stock heads and stock cam so he's gonna take care of that and hopefully we'll get that issue fixed and get a final number for you guys all right so we've gone ahead and adjusted some stuff to try to see if we can prevent the throttle body from closing so let's see what it does again this is in fifth gear guys guys so in that last pull you guys just saw the car still was having a little bit of issue after 6400 was hitting like some kind of speed limiter or something like a rev limiter so Pat's look checking that out we might be able to break 500 we should be able to break 500 today so Pat's doing his thing working on it and we're gonna do one or two more pulls and really get that final number for you guys all right guys here we go another dyno pull one thing I like about Padgy is he definitely takes his time and makes sure everything is right. so as you guys can see it's got a lot smoother now the torque curve just keeps staying flat up to 5800 and our power band is still going up there might be a little bit of cleanup we can do up here but overall I mean this looks great can't complain this is really good numbers all right guys so you have it now we're just gonna go do a little drive make sure the drivability is good and we are done then we can head over back to our trailer and load this car back up and go back home. Alright guys, just got back from doing the drivability. Everything is great, but one thing we realized is that we were running the car with tour mode, which means my valves were closed. That's right, the dyno pulls that you guys saw was with the valves closed. So it put down 492 with the valves closed. We're gonna get one last dyno pull to see what it'll do with the valves completely open. All right guys, let's see what this run's gonna be. 
Headphone users beware. guys have it it just you can see the graph is a little bit different it's actually still with the valves open pulling farther up in the rpm range but around 6400 the throttle started closing so we might see a little bit more power and our torque curve actually is a little lower but again that's probably just because you know the back pressure a little bit more back pressure and stuff like that so you're not going to see that high high torque but the horsepower is definitely there it's making a lot more power i mean it put down almost 18 15 to almost 20 horsepower on that pull and we're getting that throttle body closing at 6400 rpm so we're going to adjust it a little bit more and see what it does all right guys so we're going to do the final run see hopefully it should have the throttle body corrected and just kind of get a difference and I'm very impressed at how much of a difference the valves make guys almost 20 horsepower that's crazy Five twenty one four fifty. <laughs> Five hundred and twenty one horsepower, four fifty torque. Wow, Pat, you just like literally killed. It. That's crazy. That's worth coming back for. Yeah. Thirty horsepower difference from the valves closed to the valves open, and ten extra pound feet of torque. That is amazing. Wow. 521 horsepower in fifth gear guys that is insane that just goes to show how much of a restriction these stock npp axle bags can be when you have the valves closed now when the valves are open it flows pretty well as you guys just saw i mean it gained 30 horsepower more from opening and having the valves open that is ridiculous that is amazing power across the whole curve increase across the whole curve just much much better car overall with the valves open that is crazy that is awesome anyways guys whew, that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button and remember become a patreon because i will be giving away the mustang when we get 1000 channel su supporters but that's it for today i've got to get this car on the road back to the u-haul that blew the tire out and my truck got stuck at a gas station and get back home i'll see you guys in the next one